Hello and welcome and Michelin FM welcoming you to the final proper episode of the Swedish Mafia, the Great FM20 adventure where we have managed to get Hansa Rostock back to the Bundesliga. We have won a game starting seven Swedes and now we are about to finish the fifth season. We will have an episode tomorrow as well but that will be more of a look back and a look forward episode. This is the final proper episode of season five. We are doing this as a double live com episode for the final two games but before we get there we will look at the three games before the two live com games and even before that we will look at a bit of a fan financial side of things so uh roll the intro <laughs> So here we are and let's start off by looking at the financial side of things. We are the club that has lost the fourth least money and uh, I think it's fairly decent considering the results we've made. Uh, the big losers, they have various big differences. Hertha Berlin are in the bottom of the table and Bayer Leverkusen are towards the top. Uh, they are 15th and 3rd. Uh, we have little money left. 1 million and really no transfer budget but the prediction for us is to get more money for each season that passes and the reason for that is quite simply that in the Bundesliga you get a shitload of prize money let me show you here we are in 10th place you get 44 million and for a 5th place finish you get almost 60 million so very nice money there and I think that's realistically where we can end up. Today we are playing Stuttgart who are two points behind us uh, and we make one change Binter Feuerhardt the youngster comes in and this is what happened. We started off very good uh, chance straight away in the 26th minute Clarky found Binter Feuerhardt who said thank you Gaffa for giving me the chance this is my way of repaying you. Uh, we just kept on from here. Harvey had a nice game. Ronaldo Harvey scored Perfect ball from him, nice ball from Kyoto, nice shot from Ronaldo Harvey. In the second half, we just piled on the pressure. Harvey with the ball again, beat his man, shot, and Kyoto got the ball this time. We were 3 0 up, and this game was more or less over. Uh, Stuttgart managed to claw one back just a couple of minutes later, but that didn't really matter. Ushan out to their left winger. And he was through on goal and scored 3-1. But just a little while later we managed to make it 4-1. Another nice attack from us. Harvey with it to Knowles. Back to Harvey. Made no mistake. Shot through the keeper 4-1. And I don't really mind that they made it 4-2. Just a few minutes later again. They had the ball. After a corner bit of passing around but finally the ball landed out on the right crossed it in and they clawed one more back but we won it very deserved win a very important game uh, and now we are really up there fourth place with four games to go this is what happened after that one Ronaldo Harvey was the he was the man on match by by a mile uh, I'll show you the two youngsters as well Binder Feuerhardt scored this guy looks good for next season uh, might get a few more games to sort of boost his confidence and boost his experience and then we have a player who has almost become a first choice player for us Kai Otto he is <laughs> he is uh, improving very well uh, lovely player for the second game we played FC Bayern we have not even been close to get points against them. Uh, Pieter Arpa was with us last season, started for them. So uh, uh, a bit of a family feud here. We actually scored the first goal in this game. First one with it. Knowles. We won it back. Got out on the right to little Jackie Clarkey. He beat his man, beat another one, then he was through on goal, made no mistake, 
a proper Jackie Clarkie goal and we were one up. Sadly, we didn't manage to hold on to this one because they scored after Ferrada dragging a player down and then this happened. A proper two-footed lunge, an absolute crazy attack from Harvey and we went down to 10 men and here I thought that this was going to be absolutely over. We had to go down to a 4 4 one and just hope and pray that things were going to work out for us and they actually did. They did have a chance towards the end of the game uh, but we managed to get a point, lost a spot, we're down to fifth uh, but in the final game before our live comes we actually had a solid performance as well. Uh, this game was against Wolfsburg uh, we didn't make many changes. Uh, Gürkeres came in instead of Ronaldo Harvey, who was suspended. But except for that, we have a we had a good team. We we look good for this game. Uh, they look good as well. But we had the first really good chance, and it resulted in a goal for us. Jackie Clarke scored another one. Not the perfect performance from their keeper, but okay. Uh, they managed to get back here. Van Yuman out on the right. Nice attack from them. Back into the box. And he made no mistake. Uh, a bit disappointing from our keeper. But okay. Uh, the game ended 1-1. Which actually sent us one position forward. But Stuttgart has one game to play. So as we go into today's first live com. We have a really good chance of finishing in the Europa spots and we actually have a chance of, of qualifying for the Champions League course. Absolutely crazy. We have Schalke left who are 7th and then in the final game we have Bayer Leverkusen who are 3rd. So two very tough games against opponents who also want these European spots. Uh, Bayern are 4 points ahead of us. And Schalke are three points behind us, so theoretically we could fall out of this uh, European spots and finish eighth. But a decent result today would secure European football for us. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Ronaldo home is back instead of Gyokeres. Uh, we bring in Gyokeres instead of uh, Landgraf, and we won't make any more changes. Wish me luck. So the game started, I'm nervous, butterflies in my stomach, they are fluttering like crazy, <laughs> nothing's happened for the first 10 minutes, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, they have the first chance, not a highlight yet though, 20 minutes past. Oh, I'm nervous, <laughs> we could get Champions League football, first proper chance for us, Albanos with it. Can you get it into the box my friend? Bow. Oh, decent chance for us. Ooh. Half an hour passed. Literally nothing's happened. If we look at the league table, we are fourth with one game more than Stuttgart. Here we win the ball. Walt Knowles with it to Kyoto. Nice plan to Jackie Clarke. Can he beat this man? No, not this time. He's done it so many times before this season, but not that time. Okay. Dangerous through ball for them. Surely he's out of shooting range. Oh, I oh, thought that one was going in. Uh, decent counter attack from them. Not the perfect performance from us so far. Here they come again. Left winger James gets into the box. We get it away. Can we scramble that one up? No, we can't. So more has happened in the last three minutes than in the first 30 minutes of the game. And uh, Frickl saves it. Okay, give me a bit of breathing space here. 40 minutes passed. Chance for us to perhaps improve on a fairly drab first half. They win it, can they counter again? They've been good on the counter. Out of their right midfielder. Can we win it back and counter on them? Yes, we can. Harvey with it. Finds Bill Bow. Griffiths through. Yeah! I was so sure it wasn't going in. 
that is a strange curve ball. He hits the post and it just snails over the line. Look at this again. We win the ball here. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant from Harvey. Finds Bilbao. Nice ball in behind. Griffith shoots. It hits the post and it slowly rolls over the line. Perfect timing for that goal. We are one up as we go into half time. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, very nice. Of course, I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy. They love that. They know that we have high standards. Okay, the second half, a win here would secure European football for us and put us in a good spot for an actual Champions League spot next season. But perhaps I'm saying too much because this guy just runs through our entire defense and he misses that one. Thank you. Thank you. Made me really nervous that. Chance for us, Harvey, they get it away, Harvey gets it back, can we cross it in, Kyoto, nice one, nice one, another highlight, hopefully for us, they have the ball though, we win it, Harvey finds Griffith, Griffith through, no, oh great chance, but no goal, mm. I'm starting to have this bad feeling that they will score for every time we miss a click a chance they get closer to scoring like it no we get it away can we counter on then Jackie Clarkey wrong with the Jackie we still have it Griffiths Griffiths like I said every time we miss a click a chance they get closer to equalizing I don't want that I'd like a second go uh, let's make a change or two Couple of players are tired, a few yellow cards. Let's take Jackie Clarkey off, he's not had a good game. Morais comes in, Bernard comes in instead of Knowles, who is yellow carded. 20 minutes left. Come on, guys, just hold on. I don't want any more highlights. I'll take this result any day. Just end this. Chance for them. <laughs> what a pinballing situation there I was afraid that one was going in <laughs> but thank you for pulling God we are still 1-0 up with 11 minutes to play they send it upfield can they create anything they have a lot of men going forward they still want that European spot as well they come through oh Fritl saves that one ball still in play <laughs> Hoof it away. Give me a rest. Okay, my heart is pounding almost through my chest at the moment. This is exciting. This is really exciting. One final sub. Who to bring in? Who to take off? Vajanic can come in instead of Albornoz, who is absolutely knackered. I know it's not a left back, but it's, at least he's left footed. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute, blow ref, blow the whistle. Yes, we win it. And now we are seven points down to eighth place. We have secured European football. I, I repeat, has a roster has secured European football. I don't dare to play, t tell the players I'm not happy. Absolutely marvelous result for us. Whew, European football, Europe, here we come. This Lee table is a site for sore eyes. We have two points down to Köln and three points down to Stuttgart. So one point in the final game against Bayer Leverkusen could mean Champions League football for us. The four first teams, they get a chance to qualify for the Champions League. If we win, then we are a surefire Champions League team. And we are getting a lot of money no matter where we end up. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth loads and loads of money that would be absolutely fantastic but for now i'm mostly after that european spot Whew. one game left one game left in this save and it's against Bayer Leverkusen who are third they're going to finish third no matter what hopefully they come into this game taking it a bit lightly hoping for us to be not as good as we actually are 
perhaps a bit of an uh, underestimation can creep under their skins and we can finish with a win. A win equals a fourth place and a fourth place equals Champions League football next season. We won't play it next season because 7 one is just around the corner but it would leave me with a warm and fussy feeling and actually a lot of pride if we could leave them in the best possible situation. Okay. So Estevez is suspended for this game. We bring in Emil Kraft, but except for that, there's not a lot of changes to be made. Wish me luck. And here we go. The final game of the save is on. 10 minutes have passed, not a chance. We have the ball here. Don't do anything stupid, Emil. Don't do anything stupid. No baffles here. Gets the ball out to little Jackie Clarkey. He has surely been the man of the season. Gets past one, gets past two. Moves into the middle. Shoot! Oh, that could have deserved a better ending, couldn't it? Decent performance so far from us. Köln are closing in on us on 58 points as well as we are. Albornoz has the ball out on the left, finds Kai Otto, finds Harvey, ooh, good chance, did it, yeah, it hit the post, mm. we need to tuck that sort of chance away, don't we? Half an hour's gone, one point is probably enough, if Ethicon don't score a shitload of goals, which I don't think that they'll do. But I don't want to let in a go. Harvey's here. Harvey finds Bill Bauer. We are one it up. We are one it up. <laughs> one it up at home against Bayer Leverkusen. Let's look at this again. Nice ball there. Bill Bauer to Harvey. Back to Bill Bauer. Perfect run. Perfect finish. We are one it up after 35 minutes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you hear Champions League music in the background? Or oh, you don't. I only hear it in my head, so I suppose you have to play it in your head as well. Uh, but uh, at least metaphorically, I hear it. Bilbao is here again. Finds Griffiths. Griffiths. Oh, if he would have been in the goal scoring form he was a few games ago, that would have been fantastic, but he isn't really. We are getting close to the half time and we are running up. What do I tell them? Do I tell them I'm satisfied with this or do I actually tell them I I want more? What do you think? I'm telling them I'm not happy. They love that. They know that we have huge standards. Here we go for the final half of this save. And I'm really nervous. Even though we are completely dominating by Leverkusen, it seems that they are they are more focused on the after party and the upcoming holiday than this actual game, which we take advantage of. But they're a great team, so one slip up from us could mean a goal, two slip ups could mean two goals. So Let's keep focused, guys. Ball out on the left for them. Get it into the box. Nice save from Fritter. They still have it. Ooh. We got it away. We got it away. Oh, less than half an hour left. Another chance for them if we can't get this one away. Little Jackie Clarky, that's no good ball. They are passing it around. Can we win this encounter or will it be a Leverkusen highlight? We win it. Griffiths with it. He finds Ronaldo Harvey. 
<sighs> oh, this is going to be exciting all the way until the end, isn't it? Uh, let's look at potential changes. Do I change tactics? No, I don't dare to do that. Let's get Moraes in instead of Clarkey. Banaba instead of our book central midfielder. And here we go for the final 15 minutes. Banaba, they get it away. Just kicking down or something. Don't let him counter. We let him counter. We have a lot of men back, but he just runs past them. Badu. 15 minutes left. 10 minutes. Okay. You know what? Let's loosen up. Can you hear it? Oh, I can actually hear it. Of champions. Champions League is coming to Rostock next season. We win. 1-0, we finish 4th in the <laughs> first season back in the Bundesliga and I can't stop smiling. This has been such a fantastic adventure and I cannot think of a better way to end this. I'm actually going to tell them I'm happy about this. I Even I can't tell them I'm not happy. Look at this. We finish 4th and that's Champions League football. Absolutely amazing. Oh, let's do this press conference thing. I usually avoid them, but let's be positive. Let's go out with a bang. Yeah. Let's go for that one. Let's just all be smiles and happy faces now. Get along well? Yeah, not really. Things between me and the shaman. Do I tell the truth? I haven't seen him in a long while, but let's keep the charade, shall we? Everything's fine and dandy. We qualify for the Champions League. How much money do we get? 4.8 million is a real disappointment considering we get 71 million. Hopefully that will change as we go into the season. I had hoped for more than that. That was a disappointment. But okay, 71 million in the bank. I couldn't have left Hazard Rostock in a better place. Champions League football, secure finances, uh, very nice <laughs> finish in the Bundesliga. Let's look at the players who actually made this happen. Jackie Clarkey scores the more, most goals out of this team, 12 goals from his right midfielder position. He has been pivotal this Tottenham loan. I just wish that he was a permanent player for us. He has become one of my favourite players. Igor Bilbao. Didn't start off really well, but he has pitched in with a goal here and a goal there. A couple of them really important, so he has played a pivotal part. Uh, Stuart Griffiths was absolutely amazing during a part of the season. Nine goals from him. He was lethal in the box. Scored on every opportunity he had. Absolutely fantastic. If we look at average rating, it's the same score there. If we ignore Krieger, who only played one game. Ronaldo Harvey was absolutely great out on the left wing as well. Look at those fantastic attributes. <sighs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just I'm just watching this screen. Oh fantastic guys. Absolutely fantastic. We'll just finish off by looking at this. Uh, this is what it looks like after the season. Four players were inducted into the Rostock overall best 11. Uh, Frickin really deserved it, I think. Uh, Amal Majanic is a bit of a uh, surprise, I guess. He's been decent, not fantastic. Uh, Jackie Clarkey uh, was absolutely worth it. Uh, so, very nice. Estevez as well. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. If we look at the end of season awards, Jackie Clark, he uh, won Fans Player of the Year with 74% of the votes. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. If we look at the stats, he has, was our top goal scorer, highest average rating, most assists, 
most player of the match which won. Fantastic. Our team of the season, Fritel, Albanos. Uh, nothing strange going on there. This is the season review. Not the greatest performance in the DFB Pokal, but no one can complain about that Bundesliga season. Absolutely fantastic. If we look at the club visions and expectations going into next season, they want us to sign high reputation players. Yeah, we could do that. Let's accept that one. And let's hold an end of season meeting. Finish with that one. I don't want to aim too high. Uh, because our expectations were really low. Okay, I was expecting a little bit more than that. They are, <laughs> even though we finished fourth, they are focused on going down next season. <laughs> okay, nothing I can do can can help this. Uh, <laughs> okay, everyone's pissed off after that one. What a perfect way to end this. Those will be the final words of this final proper episode i will see you tomorrow again where i show you what the team looks like as the sixth season is about to start we won't play that one but i want to show you what sort of team we go into the champions league season the historical champions league season i've had an immense amount of fun with this series and one of the things i've enjoyed the most is the interaction with you i've appreciated every view every comment every like uh, this is my first ever youtube series and it's been a steep learning curve but i really enjoyed it and i'm looking forward to fm21 to bring you even more fun content uh, as this episode ends there is a link to my save reveal series don't miss that one where i'll tell you what i'm doing for the beta and for the main game uh, i'll say goodbye now or as I usually end my episodes. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.